video is for my freshman level students and I'm going to go over what we're doing here for week 29. So, make this quick. <laughs> All right, if you go to the course homepage, uh, let me go ahead and put my student goggles on so you're seeing what you should be seeing. And I do apologize, my neighbor's alarm has been going off for like 15 minutes and my dogs are freaking out about it. You can probably hear them through the window and I give up. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I have no control over them. Either way, um, if you go to modules, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to continue where we left off in our newest module, module eight. And so before we left for spring break, I don't know if you guys remember, but we read a short story about Sally uh, from the house on Mango Street. And, you know, we learned the story about a girl who kind of lives a double life. You know, she's a different person at home than she is at school, and it makes her feel very isolated, and it makes her feel very lonely. And so, uh, you guys should have finished that excerpt on your own. Um, however, you have until Monday uh, to finish the discussion that goes along uh, with that excerpt. I already gave this to you, uh, but, you know, be sure to check that out on your own and participate in it. And in fact, we actually have a lot of discussions that we're doing this week. And I know that th with this class, it's really hard to get you guys involved in these. Um, so I appreciate your cooperation and I appreciate you guys working hard to participate in them. So in the second lesson, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at a speech that isn't going to pop up for another lesson, but I already gave it to you. Uh, you can find this in 8.4.2. And this is by Toni Morrison, um, who I think was the first black woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature. Um, but what she's doing is she's addressing a group of graduates, and I just want you guys to read this. I don't want you guys to, to work on this activity just yet. I don't want you guys filling things out. Um, what I want you to do is I just want you to read through this article, uh, read through this speech, I mean. It's a speech. <laughs> I want you to read through this speech, and I want you to ask yourself questions as you read it. And I want you guys to be questioning the material, and I want you guys to be annotating as you do this first read, and there, there will be multiple right reads, I, I assure you, I promise you. Um, but just be sure to ask yourself some thoughtful questions and then try to find the answers to them. Uh, you're going to need to do that for the following activity. So I wasn't kidding, we have a, we have a, lot, of, we have a lot of discussions. Before I talk about the discussions, though, Okay, um, I want you guys to participate in a quick write. And so with this, you have the option to pick whatever prompt you like best. You can either write a story about a time when somebody's kindness impacted you, or you can write a story about a time where you showed someone else kindness. And if you can't think of an example of either of these two situations, then you're gonna have to practice your best creative writing and make something up. I'm not gonna know any better. I'm not gonna do a background check on you. Uh, just make it convincing and make it good, <laughs> okay? And so, um, you know, you'll do that the way that you usually do. You'll click Start Assignment. A text box will open up at the bottom of the page. You'll type it in there. You'll hit Submit, and you'll be good to go. You might see some confetti dance around the page. It's not going to let me because I didn't actually type anything, but whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something called an analytic reading of this speech by Toni Morrison. And so you can click, you can find the speech right here. Uh, if you if you click this link um, But what you're gonna do is you're gonna do what we've usually been doing You're going to annotate the story as if you were annotating anything else in my class You will define what the title is. You'll tell me who the author is. And you'll tell me what genre it is Okay, it's a speech. I'll give you that last one It also asks you the number of paragraphs, but that's something that we do more in person. It's harder to do it online I don't really care if you number the paragraphs or not uh, But anyways just to build a background here, understand that Toni Morrison was the first African American to win the Nobel Peace Prize or the Nobel Prize for Literature, and she grew up during the Great Depression. She grew up during a difficult time, and she also faced segregation and racism. Now, this is a speech, okay, and this is a speech that she delivered to graduates uh, back in 1979 uh, in the middle of the women's rights movement. Um, at an all-women's college. So it's really important that when you listen to a speech that you were thoughtful and you were mindful to the audience the speech is directed towards. Okay? Uh, ask yourselves questions as you read this. And what I want you guys to do is using the comment feature, I want you guys to be sure to write those questions in the margin so you can come back to them later for our discussion activity. Okay? 
Once you identify a question, you need to find the answer to that question. And then if you go to the next page, there's going to be a discussion board where you get to share those questions that you found. And so here's the prompt for the discussion. Identify a question that you had while you were reading and then find the answer to that question, okay? Don't just find the question and leave it a question, okay? You need to search for the answer here. And then what I want you to do is I want you to post your question and your answer, post a comment on the discussion board that explains that question and that answer, okay? And then of course when you're done, no discussion is complete without you responding to at least two classmates, so be sure you do that. Looks like one person already responded, that's cool. All right, and then, I'm not kidding, there's a, there's a third discussion post this week. It's, I know it's quite a bit, um, but you know, these shouldn't take you more than five minutes each to respond to. This is 15 minutes of work that you guys can do easily. Uh, but you know, this kind of relates to the topic that we're looking at in this unit. And so you can pick, we have three prompts here you can choose from. Just pick one, don't do all of them unless you really want to. Who am I to stop you from writing? Uh, but answer one of these questions. So what caused me to have an emotional reaction? Because remember, this unit we're focusing on pathos. We're focusing on how writers use uh, the appeal to emotion in order to make their writing more meaningful and more impactful. And so did you have any emotions rise when you were reading Toni Morrison's speech? Um, if so, explain them to me. Um, if not, you can choose the next prompt, okay? What surprised you or reminded you of something else that you've seen or experienced, okay? Um, you can relate this to another experience you've had. Uh, and lastly, how will this make you a better person? How will reading this speech enrich your life and make you more successful or more capable or more happy? Okay, that's what I want you to do here. Um, so please do your best. All of these assignments are going to be due on Monday the 12th. And I look forward to, to seeing you guys soon here in person when we get back to campus. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. Bye.